Hey, what's up my chemistry people? Who is ready for more cell potential action? Use the information provided to determine the reduction potential of the missing half reaction without using the reduction potential chart. No! Then use the value of the cell potential for the overall reaction to determine whether or not the reaction is spontaneous as written. All right, let's take a closer look here. First thing I'm gonna do, assign oxidation states. Let's take a look at the cerium. It goes from plus four to plus three oxidation state, indicating that it's been reduced. As we look at tin, it goes from the zero to plus two oxidation state, indicating that it's been oxidized. As I try to find this missing reduction potential, I need to keep that in mind. Remember that the cell potential is equal to the reduction potential plus the oxidation potential. I know this one. I know that the cerium is the thing that's being reduced because in my equation, it goes from plus four to plus three oxidation state. A quick subtraction will tell me that the oxidation potential of tin is positive 0.14 volts. Now be careful. This question is asking us for the reduction potential of tin. We determined its oxidation potential. Its reduction potential is gonna be the same numerically, but opposite in sign. So our final answer here, negative 0.14 volts. And as always, take a moment to ask yourself what the heck the cell potential tells me about the equation as written. We've got a positive cell potential, so this is thermodynamically favorable. Boom.